morning, Baltimore. All right. Get ready to go to Starbucks and get my cup of coffee. But before I did, I wanted to make sure that we do this. All right. I'm going to go to Starbucks. and I'm going to be at federal court this morning. Got my Dick Tracy hat on. All right. Dick Tracy. Remember Dick Tracy? Yeah. Got my Dick Tracy hat on. We talking about Pew. All right. See that? Freedom. When I come down to federal court today, y'all gonna see the rat and Donald Trump and Shorty. Then we're gonna see you, Congressman Cummings. All right, that's Congressman Cummings. We're gonna talk about y'all selling Congressman Cummings' seat. We're gonna talk about the corruption, not just Mayor Pew. We're gonna talk about the corruption. We're going to talk about President Barack Obama and the Democratic Party. Y'all want me mad at Trump? No. I'm mad at the Democrats because the Democrats been fucking us around. Trump just started and y'all been doing it for 50 years. I'm going to tell Trump about your Democratic Party in Maryland. Y'all locked me up for terrorism because I was making a movie about Dred Scott, about Dred Scott. It's making a movie about Dred Scott. Motion to squash the subpoenas. I was breaking down your prison industry and the money that you make behind the prison industry. Just like Mr. Rogers' neighborhood, I broke you down. Mary Pat Clark, James Salmon, Karen Parks. You see that? Y'all going after Kathleen Pugh? Well, I got 52 more. I got more than just Kathleen Q. I got more than We're going to talk about the money y'all make off the prison industry stopping real violence. Talk about Governor O'Malley's mom machine. We're going to talk about the money behind the machine. That's what you locked me up for. Senator Antonio Hayes and get this from Senator Antonio Hayes. Called I am Dred Scott. All right. Movie release. Dwayne Davis. Mayor Pugh. Ain't just Mayor Pew. The Department of Justice. I'm showing the role the Department of Justice plays in. Look behind me, right here. I'm showing the role the Department of Justice plays in the shield of corruption against the white people. They're not gonna lock white people up, they're gonna lock up black people and make it look like they're doing a job. I want white people locked up. I want white people locked up because they commit corruption too. And I made a book all about y'all. Marilyn Mosby got this. She didn't have it since 2014. Governor Hogan didn't have it since 2014. The Department of Justice didn't have it since 2008. Like I said, the movie and the documentary. Ain't the law against making a movie. It is a law against kidnapping. It is a law against theft. It is a law against embezzlement. It is a law against income tax evasion. 
And Judge Bennett got this. Are we clear on this? Because we're coming to the federal courthouse today. I'm going to go on to Judge Turnbull records and get all the Judge Turnbull's records. I'm going to Judge Bell, we're going to judge, judge Bennett, Judge Cox, Judge Pierce, and Judge Holland. Yeah, we're putting the courts on trial, not just our politicians. Rod Rosenstein, Alan Locks, Ronald Davis, Eric Holter, Patrick Fitzgerald. Yeah. I'm going to show you white justice and black justice. Just be us. Y'all done seen me on film. Everybody that I'm showing you, I done put them on film already. You done seen Greg Bernstein. I chased him out of what I gave Greg Bernstein this information at the Martin Luther King Day Parade. He came out the parade and got the information. Then you seen me in front of City Hall 10 years later. He's quiet as a church mouse. You seen Mosby. I got it all on film. The state of Illinois and the state of Maryland both destroy evidence, destroy property. Mayor Stephanie Rollins Blake had all of this. And it's all about Scott Schellenberger. You got 10,000 cases that you're going to have to reverse and remand because of Scott Schellenberger in this book. I was making a movie about Scott Schellenberger. And we knew it. That tour that I left in Towson was about Scott Schellenberger in the courts. I ain't got no problem going to jail. But I want to go to jail and you're going to go to jail. You see me chase Chief Johnson out of Baltimore City. You see me chase him out of Baltimore County. Wherever I see you at is where I'm going to treat you at. You see when you had this? 2013. Before you retired. Judge Cox, you go to Judge Cox today. He has my writ associate. He has it all. We're talking about race and racism. We're talking about Jim Cray. This is the new face of old Jim Crow. Plantation politics at its best. We're talking about white nationalism. Yeah. Ask Governor Hogan how many times he said the word nigger. It's Governor Hogan of Cecil County. Governor Hogan, old as me. So I don't use that word on more than one occasion. He used it at prom. He used it when they was hanging black people up in Cecil County and having such Klan rallies. He come from that neck of the woods. I am Dred Scott. I am Shorty. So when you see me downtown today, take a picture, it lasts longer. Sending this to Donald Trump. Y'all want to impeach Trump? Y'all want to impeach Trump? You can Donald Trump, but I'm send the Democratic Party to jail. I'm going to send 52 Democratic Party to jail. Congressman Cummings, Sarbanes, Mikulski, yeah, we're going to talk about your history and the money y'all made off of Bill Clinton's crime bill, signing off on that. Slavery reinvented under the 13th Amendment. He asked for corruption. I'm going to give it to him.
Y'all send the Q to jail? How about this? Same way that y'all do on Pew, you're going to have to go after Governor O'Malley and his team. Because if you don't, Lester Holt got this information and Lester Holt got it today. And it's going to be odd that y'all sit here and look at all the emails. Man, like I said, I'm going to prove the point. I'm a finesse hustler, I'm not a gangster. I'm not a thug. I'm a finesse hustler. I told y'all that when y'all did the story on mine hard look. I don't need to fight you. I'm going to use the paper to fight you. I'm going to use this camera to beat you. Social media for social change. Can you see that? Cindy X. Mail receipts. Governor O'Malley, you see that? That's the Get Shorty program. Governor O'Malley approved it. These are the emails. State and federal audit. Income tax evasion. That's Special Agent Richard McFeely, the FBI. And that's my movie, Letters Design by Rob Fix. Yeah. Exhibit one. Exhibit two. If Lagoyevich can go to jail, so can Governor O'Malley and the crime machine. So can Governor O'Malley and them 52 Democrats. And here goes the emails. So y'all prepare for this? I'm built for the fight. And I've been in this battle. So I'm headed downtown, get my coffee. I'll see you at Starbucks. And I will see you at federal court. I'll be there all day. As long as you get there, I'm going to be there. I'm going to put that camera in your face and show you the role that y'all played in misinformation. Roland Martin, TV One. Yeah. Never bite the hand that feeds you. And I feed Baltimore. Go to WEAA, talk to Mark Snyder, get all of my old videos from Mark Snyder. Go to Faraji Mohammed to talk about the conversation we had at Polly when he had his son. Just because you see me by myself don't mean I'm by myself. I got 4,500 white people that signed a petition to have my case heard in a grant in, in Maryland. I got 4,500 white people. Ed Hale signed it. Sheriff Fisher signed it. You got 52 subpoenas that served on these politicians before February, before the election. You got me banned on Facebook? That's not going to ban me in the street. You ban me on Facebook, I'm going to ban you in the streets. When I see Jay Miller, when I see anybody that was involved in this illegal incarceration, this kidnapping, I'm going to put this camera in your face and we're going to go live, all the way live. Criminal complaint right there. Criminal complaint. 